Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Satisfactory. So after a brief interlude where we have just gone and had a little bit of wandering round, it's time to get back to work, so let's get back to it. Nicely done. And we'll start covering up the... So this one here, I, I can actually fill this bit in now. Uh, so we will fill that and that bit in, as I'm not going to want them. We've got... Possibly something we will do with the conveyor belts on the side there. We'll have a look at that because we've got more stuff that we're going to want to um, get brought up here anyway. So it's it's not going to hurt. Let me put another one of them there. And then that's our jelly down pad. Let me just do that a minute. What do we got? No, I want to leave that one. I'll put that there like that and then I'll remove this one. So then we've got jelly there that we can jump down onto and we go back to here put you up right I don't need to actually worry about this too much at the moment I've got enough I got more than enough foundation up here to do exactly what it is that I want to do first up the very first thing that I want to do is I I mean encroaching on another's oh I can't actually put stuff over the top of that one. We want to go higher still if we want to put it over that one. We're not going to. We won't worry about that. And then you over here. We might end up putting out some more floor here. But for now, we've got the, the two belts, right? Both those belts coming in together. I think this is absolutely wonderful. Look at that. That is absolutely spectacular. So from here, now I've got more belts possibly coming out through these walls. We'll, we'll, we'll look at that later. So I want to allow for that. So what we'll do is we'll put this down over this way. And I'll put this one up like that. That's as close to this one as we can get. There. All right, I'm right up to the edge of the space elevator. We need 500 of them, and we need 150 motors. So first up, we want to get an assembler, and we want to put that one down over this side, which is uh, production there. I want an assembler. I need three more frameworks. So we'll jump down a minute. Let's go and just test this. There we go. Okay, don't land right in the middle of the jelly if you want to make a quick exit from the jelly. A little lesson to be learned right there. If you want to make a quick exit from the jelly, don't land right in the middle of it. Go over to you, and we want to make... Uh, let's just take this down to, like, seven of them. There, so I've, I've, I've made seven of those. That's enough for uh, going on with for now. And up we go. Over onto here. And then I can go to here, and I can make an assembler is going to be that way around like that so i want to go up here i want to put it as far over that way as close to that one as possible she's going to need to move it down a little bit i would say about there a bit more just just to make sure that we got room for these belts coming off now big question can i put a splitter you can you can have a splitter up in the air like that. Can I stack splitters? I can put a splitter there. So I've got the, the plates coming off. Like that. Can I put another one up? Can I put one up on top of there like that? Um... Oh, I know what I need to do. Let me... So, splitters will work regardless. It doesn't It doesn't matter where they are. But, can I stack splitters one on top of the other? That's, that's the next big question, is can I stack... Yes, I can. Right, they will actually stack, but... Uh, you still got to, you've got to line them up manually. They don't, like, auto-line up. So, if you want them in a dead straight line, by the look of it... You've just got to, you've got to physically bring them in like that to get it to line up. But that has lined up there. That looks pretty good. It's, it's slightly off, isn't it? That is ever so slightly off. I'll remove you. But that definitely works. 
definitely does exactly what I want it to do. So let me bring that back over this way. We want to get that absolutely spot on lined up. You've got to use the framework on the outside. I wasn't using the framework on the outside when I was looking at it. There. Right, so now I've got aerial suspended splitters up there. And configure in here. I want a modular frame. I need rods and I need um, the, the, the plates. And I've got both of those coming up. We've got rods and we've got plates. So if I go to number three... I take a conveyor belt and I run that one into there. And then I go number three. I take a conveyor belt and I run it into there. Encroaching another's clearance. What clearance are you encroaching? Uh, okay. Apparently it doesn't like that. Being one on top of the other there, it doesn't like it at all, does it? Let me go and try and put that... No, that one's... That's not going to work. I can't put that one down. So I've got the splitter down the bottom. The, the, the splitter up the top, we're going to have to just get rid of that one. We'll remove that. And instead, I'll put the splitter... I can just latch that onto the end up there, I think. Let's see if that will work. It looks like it might. I'll bring that one up there and latch that onto the end. All right, I'm looking round. That seems like it will actually work. So then I can take the conveyor belt out of there and I can drop that one down in. Right. So that now works perfectly. That comes down into there and that means I've still got these two out here. Let's just make sure that we do have these two coming out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go with number eight first and we're going to put a conveyor pole like that and then I'm going to put number four is going to go... Yeah, that's actually going to go right there in underneath. That's lined up perfectly. That's exactly where we want it. So then, conveyor belt out to here. See, so it wants to go that way. And then up here, I'll go conveyor belt over to there. Right, so that works as well. We've now, we've got that taken off. And we've got the spare conveyor coming out of it along with it. Which means that the only thing that I need to do now is get a container out of this side. I go to organization. I go to a storage container like that, and uh, actually that can just be nice and close onto there. So I will dump you there like that. Container, and then I can go conveyor, conveyor like that, and that's putting that out. Right. I got everything that I need in here. And now all I need to do is get power up here. And that is an easy enough task. We will take you from there. And I will put you... Right, power lines don't, like, clip to the ground or anything. So I'll put you to there, like that. And then I'll move this back and I'll put the power line onto there, like that. So that one's now running. Conveyor, six iron rods, it's 24 per minute. It's filled that one right up. It's got all of the iron rods in it that it needs, so we don't need to increase the clock speed. We're making four modular frames per minute, one every 15 seconds coming out of here. That's absolutely spot on. That's perfect. That's amazing. It's not going to be using these rods too fast for a minute. Um, hopefully not using up the plates too fast either. That's going to bring everything up through. Look at that. That's absolutely fantastic. We've done really well on this. Okay. And yes, I realize I'm like celebrating something that is relatively simple to make and relatively simple to do by, you know, big standards of the game. I need 500 modular frames to go in here. And so far I've got three. So it's going to take a little while to earn said 500 modular frames. 
I'm going to come down here and have a look in here. So we've got, under here I've got power shards, I've got reinforced iron plates and iron plates and, and not a lot else. And then into you, we've got the walkways, we've got the color gun right there. So I can go and paint things up later on if I want to. I'm not going to worry about that. That's all done in there. We've got coal and we've got logistics. So now we're on to uh, tier 4. We can go to improved melee combat, which gives us more inventory slots. Which is not actually a bad thing. Logistics Mark 3, which gives us the conveyor belt Mark 3, which is a very nice upgrade. That's going to require those motors, though, which we don't get until we've got the uh, steel production. Which means that we want steel production first. This is probably the best thing for us to take next. Uh, so I want that one, which means I need to make six more frames. I'll do that in a minute. We got one, two of those, one, two of those, a stack of those. Sort these up a minute. I've got four frames so far. I need another six. So we'll go into here. I can make 17 of these all together. I will make 10, I think. So that will leave me with still four in my inventory. There. It's not going to use everything else that I've got, but it is going to use up a few. There. And that one can launch, which means it, we've got steel. Milestone reached. Steel production unlocked. Foundry and improved miner included to ensure efficiency of new pipelines. A collection of new, more complex parts is now available for crafting. Right, that means we've got we've got nothing here in organization, we've got nothing new in vehicles. We will have a look at the vehicles at some point, we're just not doing it yet. Uh, foundations, they've not changed. Logistics, we've now got the conveyor belt, they're still the same, we've got nothing new in there. Power is nothing new in there, so it's all under production. We've got the foundry right there smelts two resources into alloy ingots can be automated by feeding ore into it with a conveyor belt connected to the inputs produced ingots can be automatically extracted by connecting a conveyor belt and then we've got this miner mark ii extract solid resources from the resource nodes it is built on the normal extraction rate is 120 resources per minute the extraction rate is modified depending on resource node purity outputs all extracted resources onto connected conveyor belts Right, so, business as usual, really, with that. Uh, but what we're going to, what we really want to look at is we want to go into here and we want to see the new stuff. Um, that's the stuff that we've got at the moment. So now we're looking down. We've got steel ingots right here. Iron ore and coal have got to be put together in order to be able to make the new stuff. Then we've got steel beams, which are three steel ingots. Steel pipes, which are one steel ingot. Encased industrial beam, which is steel beams and concrete. We've got a stator right there. Steel pipe and some wire. A motor right there, which is the rotors and some stators. And then uh, heavy modular frames. We want those. We want steel pipes. We want encased industrial beams. And we want lots and lots more screws. As you can see, we need quite a bit of stuff. Steel ingot is the big thing. We want iron ore and we want coal for these. All right? Iron ore and coal. Now, I've actually got a third iron ore patch right there. So I can put that in without interrupting any of the other stuff that we've got going. I could put in another mining drill right there. I could put the mining drill mark two. And this one could be focused on a steel foundry that we could put right here. Um, just wondering if... Like, the coal coal is not used all that quickly. So what I would do, I think, is take a splitter and put it on this end. And then run the coal belt back over this way so that we can use it over here on the coal foundry. That would be... On, on, yeah, on, on the whole foundry thing. That would be what I would... That, that's, that's, that's kind of what I would want to do. So, a Miner Mark II. Okay, in order to be able to make all of this stuff, I've got to... I've got to have the foundry down first in order to be able to get the Miner Mark II. The Miner Mark II does actually require the portable miner. 
Uh, that's, that's a minor inconvenience. And, of course, you build these, you can, you can strip them down again, can't you? I need the Miner Mark II for that. The Foundry. In order to be able to make that one. Oh, Smelter. No. I've got to have the Foundry. To be able to make the steel, I've got to have the Foundry. I cannot make the Foundry until I've done that. Which means that my first steel that I make, I actually have to make here. I need iron ore and coal. And that gives me two steel ingots. So I've actually got to manufacture my own stuff over here to start with. So let's go over here a minute. Let's have a look in our equipment workshop. And I want to make one portable miner. Make that one. Like that. Then I will go out here and I will... I'm going to want some power next. Right, uh, we've got a power line up there. So if I go... Power pole... Nope, I want to go number two. Power there, and I'll bring power line down to there. Fantastic. Then I will go down to here, and we will put in the Miner Mark 1, which I've got. So I can put that one there. This is actually the next question that I want answered. Can I put down 8 meter foundations over this and still have the Miner go in place? Alright, this is something I'm not actually sure about. People have told me that I, in theory, I should be able to do this. Whether or not I actually can. Uh, I, I have no concrete. Right, let's go and get some concrete a minute. There should be some over this way somewhere. There we go. There should be a whole heap of it in here. Take all. Right. I now have the concrete. And then I can go bouncing back through this way. Like this. And we go back over to here. So I want to go to foundation. And I'll drop that one down. I'll drop that one down there. And then... I'm going to drop down... Yet more of them like that. I will see in a minute if I actually want to do more than this. I'll put those up there like that. Actually, that is very cool the way that comes out. I love the way that it throws everything out like that when it's, it's, it's building like loads of stuff all at once. Okay, so then I want the mining drill, which is under production, isn't it? T yep, mine up mark one. And it does work. Right? And it's in the right place as well. Everything's absolutely spot on with that one. All I need is a little bit of power. Go from there up to there like that. I've now got a little bit of power, and it's going in, it's drilling. Right, the, the only thing I don't like about this is the visual on that concrete, right? It, it doesn't quite look right, does it? It shouldn't, it should, the, the visual should be underneath there, it shouldn't be doing like that. But we don't need to see the visual. The visual doesn't matter, we don't need to be looking at that. So let's go to, as you know, we're going to, we won't build this with that. We will build it with one of these. We'll just go with a regular conveyor belt like this. So I'm going to bring that conveyor belt out and that one's going to go to, floor is too steep. Oh, it's because it doesn't go on a join like that. You cannot put it onto a join. So I'll put that to the straight line like that. Uh, we're going to move. Are we going to move it over? No, we're not. We're going to put it right over to here. I want... Actually, I just want iron ore. Because I'm going I'm to build the foundry. The, the next bit is going to be the foundry. So I, I want the iron ore coming out of here. I didn't even need to build that one. I could have just left that one. Uh, let's go over this side and go into here. There, I've got 99 iron ore right there. And I'm going to want to go down here and I'm going to want to grab a load of coal. And then I'm going to have to run a big line from the coal all the way back through. So if I just nab 100 coal, at it, look at that. Look at that. It's beautiful, isn't it? I mean, yes, it's also horrible and, um, you know, r really, really polluting. But I'm sure it'll be fine. All right. Let's have a look at making ourselves a bit of steel. We can do 66 
Three iron ore with three coal. Right. It's not the speediest process, is it? Not that it actually needs to be, because I don't actually need all that much. I'm, I'm making two at a time here. Uh, what do I need to make my foundry? I want three concrete beams and 14 pipes. Right. Concrete beams. Encased industrial beam. That is... Oh, I need steel beams for that. I need four of them. Oh, wow. Okay, so maybe I, maybe I do need quite a bit. Uh, we want to make... In encased industrial beams, I need three encased industrial beams, wasn't it? Three encased? Yeah, three encased industrial beams. Uh, in order to make those, I'm going to need 12 steel beams right there. So I want to make a bit more. Right, so I've now got 12 steel beams that I can make. So we quickly whack all 12 of those out, and that makes three encased industrial beams just like that. Right. That's the first bit. Then we're going to want 14 pipes. Pipes require steel pipe. One makes one, so I need another 14. Another 14 of these. Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Like that, which gives me 14 steel pipes. Like that. Right. That is everything that we need. And then I can make a foundry. There. Now we're talking. We're cooking on gas now. You know what? I want... I actually like a better aerial view than I can get on this side. I'm going to come up here and I'll have a look. But I'd like an aerial view over that side. I, I, I want an aerial view over there so that I, I can do a bit of... Um, Let's, let's do it from up here for now. There, like that. Right. That's better. Now I can see what I'm doing a little bit better. So the, the foundry wants to be that direction like that. Except, does it? Because in order for the foundry to work, I want iron ore and coal coming in. Now my coal is all the way over there. So I've either got to bring that coal belt all the way down here. And then, you know, it could come straight in sideways, and I could put that one like that. Right? I could line that one up there. I, I don't want to line... I want to line it up with this belt here. No! Stop being silly. I don't want to line you up up there. I want to line it up... Right, it, it, it's not lining up where I want it to. Pretty sure that's where I want it to be. Move it back in a little bit. Uh, let me try that to start with. We can move it around later if we need to, but I'm pretty sure that's roughly where I want it. So then I want number three like that, and that's a dead straight line coming out of there. Or pretty much a dead straight line coming out of there, which is spot on. That is actually what we're going to want. So then I want a power line coming out of there, which will run into that one like that. Next, I'm going to need to get some coal coming up through here, which I'm going to need to do over here. So we go and grab this belt first, and we'll remove that one. Bye-bye conveyor belt. And then I will get a splitter right here, which is that the right way around. Yes, that is the right way around. Let me climb up on here and put that splitter in. Okay. That's where it's got to go. Like that. There. Right, that one is spot on perfect there. So then I can take you and I can dump you into there like that. You, I can dump you into there like that. And then this one, I want to bring that one out over this way. So we're going to run down here like this. And we're going to go there like that. And that one's 
Not going to go any further than that. It's going to go to that point. So that's actually a dead straight line all the way through there. And then I want to bring that one up. I can't... I can actually. I can actually have that go through that big rock. I absolutely don't want it to go through that big rock. That is the last thing that I want it to do. So what I'm going to do... I'm just going to go this side a minute and just make sure we know where this one's going. Roughly that way. Because I want, I want it to go straight up over. Right. Yeah, that's going there. That's the point where this one's got to go to. So then I will take number three. And I'll put that one sort of... Yeah, it, it, it's not ideal having this rock in the way. But it's, it's not going to be the end of the world, I suppose. And then... You know what? Actually, I've got a better idea. I have a better idea. We'll, we'll, we'll make use of something here that we've we've got, but we haven't really made use of yet. Um, I, I, we, we can use this to test it. So we've got the, the wall conveyor there. We've got a center. And then, right, that wall conveyor there, that's actually in the right spot right there for that one. Uh, the, the number... Th no, number three is as well. So it doesn't matter if we use the two or the three. So I could just do a straight wall right there. Except I'm not going to. The wall is three and three. That one is three and three. So it's exactly the same price, right? That There is no difference in cost. I'll put that one up there like that. So now... What I can do is I can go over to you and we can go conveyor belt straight up into there, up into the wall like that. And that's going to run the coal up. Go up like this. Can I get up on top? No, I can't. Oh, well. And then I'll take that one. There, yeah, like that. Uh, drop you down to there like that and then this one's going to go up to here and it's going to go actually it doesn't need to go anywhere for a minute what i'm going to do is i'm going to take number five like this and the in feed is over there i'll line it up with wait is that lined up Oh, I see. Right. It's it's trying to be a little bit difficult here. I can put it over to there. Or I can put it to... Actually, that's where I want to put it there. But it's it's trying to... Like, I'm pressing control, and it, it is actually trying to be a bit difficult. So if I bring it to about there... I think that's the location that I want to put it. Nope, that's not the location that I want to put it. Okay, fine. I'll have to do it. I'll have to do it from up here. If I go up here like this, oh, I see. I, it might be that it's coming a little bit too close to it. Um, I don't need a splitter though. All right, forget the forget the splitter idea because I don't actually need the splitter. So we will forget the splitter idea. Uh, I will just simply take a. I don't want a conveyor pole. I want number three. I want a conveyor belt. We'll bring a conveyor belt over to. The there like that and then I'll take another one that will run into there I actually I could bring the conveyor pole over a little bit further so that it turns sharper so let's remove you and that one and then I'll go back over and I'll do this again bring it to there and the belt out that's spot on perfect there right Steel ingot. This is the only recipe that I've got. So then I want to drop in all of that. And, um... and there we have it, folks. I'm afraid I'm going to have to stop things now because we have run out of time. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.